Hi everyone, it's Terry and Evan in the Great Herbal Outdoors. We're going to try and tap this birch tree today for a little birch water or birch sap. Um, we're not sure where we are in the spring process because our weather has been un very changeable, I should say. But we've got an elect uh, a drill here. Evan's going to try to make a small hole in this tree. You ready? Mm -hmm. We're aiming upward a little bit. It's hard. Okay, so when you have your hole drilled, you're going to take one spout. We got ours from Fleet Farm. You're going to stick it in the hole. You're going to take a hammer and hammer it in until about on the line and then it should start dripping if it doesn't hammer it in just a bit farther okay here we have Evan partaking of the birch water he doesn't like to lose a drop and what we know about this is that many cultures around the world have tapped birch for its health properties, its healing qualities. We know that it was used as a spring tonic to detoxify the body. Um, birch sap, well, how would you describe what it tastes like? It tastes mostly like water, but just with a bit of sweetness. And I would add that when I taste it, it feels like there's uh, the coolness of a bit of wintergreen at the back of the throat. <laughs> I think before we go any further and tell more about it, we should probably get a jar on there so you don't have to stand there with a, your neck cranked all day. Okay, I've got a, a twine tied around this quart jar and I'm just going to fasten that hopefully around the tree. Pull it off and back and you can see that uh, the birch sap is dripping right into the jar as we hope. It's a little tricky to get it up close enough. Now you would be surprised. It looks like one drip at a time, and indeed that's what's happening, but this jar fills up pretty quickly. If you walk away for an hour and come back and check it, you would probably be surprised how much liquid is in there. As I said, this is a health tonic in many parts of Scandinavia. I'm still struggling to get this knot. Um, in Russia, there's a lot of birch forests. It, can, it is actually sold on the market in the grocery stores, birch water in the spring. Here we are. You can see how much liquid has collected in our jar in just about 10 minutes, one drop at a time, but it does count up. Now, when this jar gets near full, I would take it in the house and, or put, put this in another container, bring it in the house and refrigerate it because birch sap does have sugar in it. It ferments very quickly. If you left it on the counter, it would not be very tasty in a few days' time. So, normally, for my family, we just drink it as is, either right from the tree or refrigerated. And other uses in other countries, they use it for actually making beer. Birch beer is a common thing. Or they can boil it down as much as you would for maple syrup. I've been told that it burns faster than maple syrup does so it has to be watched quite carefully and also that you need more of the birch water to make syrup than you would in a comparable amount of maple. So in our next clip we're going to show you how to repair the damage we've done to the tree so that eventually the sap will stop flowing.
We thought we'd like to show you how to repair this hole that we've made. But before we do that, we did want to say that we always ask the tree or a plant permission before we harvest anything, whether it's sap, leaves, flowers, roots. And we did receive permission from this tree. So now Evan is going to show you what we do to help this tree recover well, and repair the hole we made. You take the spout out. You take a little sap from a pine tree, put it on a piece of birch bark, and then you cover the hole with the, bir with the birch bark and sap. Now, there might be a little bit of oozing, and it might not stick right away. You want some more sap? Yes, please. If you yeah. can't get it to stick, you spread a bit more on. You try to stick it on. And sometimes it's just like a band-aid. It doesn't stick to a wound really well. So once you get it on there, you may have to <laughs> you take some off of my fingers and just plug it up and squish it around and so on. And eventually it will stick. It just takes a little work. We want to say goodbye. This is Terry and Evan from the Great Herbal Outdoors. What do you think, Evan? This is a fun video. Get outside and try to find some birch sap to sip. <laughs>